What's up guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily and today we are going to be making a tumbler using resin, you guys. I am so excited to be sharing all the projects that I've been working on. It's a new passion of mine. So first off, you're gonna need a mask. That is like one of the most important things you're gonna need. Resin is not good for your lungs, it's not good for your skin. So you really wanna make sure you have a good mask and gloves, you guys. Next, you need your tumbler. I'm working with a 30 ounce tumbler here, and you're gonna use 91% isopropyl alcohol to prep your cup and your lid if you're doing a topper. We're going in with epoxy resin, and we're going to use a one-to-one -one ratio. So for me, I do about 60 ml, so I do 30 ml of part A, 30 ml of part B. Also, we have a heat gun. This is gonna help you pop all those bubbles. Um, it, for me, I find it it's really helpful. It just gets those extra bubbles out of the cups. Make sure you have a nice, clean, smooth finish. You're gonna need a cup turner. Whether you want to buy this automatic one you can find on Amazon or you want one manually, um, you really need a cup turner to do these tumbler projects, you guys. And then you need any paints you're gonna be working with. These are three that I'm working with. You can just find them from Walmart for about 50 cents, you guys. Um, you can use acrylic paints or you can use spray paints. For this particular project, I'm gonna be using these acrylic paints. And then glitter, y'all. Mo glitter, mo glitter, <laughs> mo glitter. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm gonna have all these listed down below, but basically you want them around the same colors of paints that you're gonna be using. And then we are gonna be making a topper for this cup. So we need some lemon slices. I need the UV hard resin. This is resin that you use with an LV lamp and you can use a regular nail lamp and it hardens within about three minutes, you guys. This stuff is great for small projects like toppers. All right, so I'm using the peach and pink shades on the bottom. Just ignore this. I end up blending the two together for a beautiful peachy pink um, instead of leaving it separately. I just like the way that that looked better. But we are stopping in the middle of the tumbler, right where the indent is, and it's going to be completely yellow at the top of that to make our pink lemonade style cup, y'all. You're gonna wanna let this acrylic paint dry for about two to three hours. You wanna make sure it is completely dry before you put on a coat of resin. And we are gonna be putting glitter over this. So it's not completely, um, you know, terribly important if you ombre the colors together. You just wanna have them meshing a little bit. As you guys can see, the yellow and peach blending a little bit, not seamlessly, but enough to where the glitter will make a pretty ombre effect on top. So now I'm putting, like I said, equal parts of B and A. And you want to take your time when you are stirring this. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna get annoying. For me, I really do stir for about three minutes to really help the bubbles disappear, you guys. The faster you stir, the more bubbles that are gonna accumulate in there. So take your time, it's worth it. You wanna do this right the first time and not mess it up. When applying the epoxy resin, I find it best to work with the cup turner. And yes, make sure you have the cup turner on, turned on before you put the resin on there, you guys. <laughs> I had to learn the hard way when I started making my cups. And you just wanna pour a little bit like you see me doing here. And I'm just gliding my finger with it, letting any excess drip off. You can use it on it. You can let it drip off onto a cloth or a paper towel. Don't fight it, just go with it. And you wanna do this all the way from the bottom of the cup. Don't forget the base of the cup to the very tippy top of the cup. And once we have this layer of epoxy resin down, we can do our glitter. Right before I do the glitter, I like to take the heat gun to it just one more time to make sure there's not any bubbles because the glitter will stick to the bubbles and create even bigger holes in the cup. And since this is my first resin video that I'm gonna be posting, I'm really taking my time to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. Um, these videos will probably be a little bit shorter coming up as we start posting more of these videos and skip around a little bit. All right, so we're first going in with this peach colored glitter and it matches the peach bottom of our cup perfectly. Look at how beautiful it is. And I'm just 
slightly dusting it from my finger. And you want to keep going around with the cup, making sure you get all parts of the peach bottom. Put on the yellow glitter. And then now I'm putting on a white glitter. It's like a white opalescent. Um, and it, it is a little hard to see, especially on camera. But when you're in person, it just adds that little bit of oomph, like it's iced at the top of the cup. All right, so now we're going to let this sit and dry for a full 24 hours. And now we're going to let this sit and dry for 12 hours before we do any stickers or decals to it. So in the meantime, let's go tackle our topper. So I'm putting the UV resin and we're just going to do drops. You guys remember we're working with smaller items here. So you only need a little droplet and then spread it around with the tip of the applicator. This is going to be our base and we're going to build up the ice. So I'm putting down the flat edges first. And you want to do about three to four pieces, maybe even you can get away with about six pieces, but I would say no more than six to seven pieces do you put it in underneath the UV light. Otherwise, I found that it doesn't dry properly. And this is a pretty big uh, lid circumference, so just keep that in mind. You are going to need a lot of these little icicles that you can actually find from the dollar store. They're just crystals that happen to look like ice. Then you're going to want to put it underneath the UV lamp for two sessions of 90 seconds. So I put it underneath there, see how it's coming along, do it again because it is the base. Look at that. Instantly it is stuck. It's not going anywhere. I love this UV resin, you guys. Oh my gosh. It'd be really cool if there was like an instant way to dry bigger resin projects. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to continue doing that same method. I'm just building it up to look like ice, you guys. There's no wrong way to do this. Be creative. All right, now we're going to want to put our lemon slice in before we finish the base of ice. So right now I'm just getting where I want it to sit first before I even put down the UV hardened resin. And then for this one, you're actually going to hold it down underneath the UV lamp for about... 20 to 30 seconds to allow it to get firm enough for it to sit underneath the lamp for a full 90 seconds. Being very gentle because this will move around and putting a little bit extra on the sides as well. This is a big uh, item to have on your topper. So I found that the more UV you put on as you're building up the ice, the better. And then I even put on a regular coat of epoxy resin and let that sit for 24 hours before giving this to its new owner. All right, now we're back to the cup itself. It's time to put on some letters. So this is going out to one of my good friends named Jenny. So we're gonna put her name on there. But before we do that, we need to sand. Bring out your mask again because the dust is really not good for you, you guys. And you can see the dust from the Dremel that I'm using here is just flying up at my face. <laughs> I'm using a 200 grit on here and I'm really focusing on the chunky parts because that chunky glitter loves to stick up out of the top of the cup. Also, don't forget about the rim. You don't want your customers putting their mouth on the cup to drink and then getting a mouthful of chunky glitter. And I'm using my fingers to feel because sometimes you really can't see. So it's best I find to just feel along the edges and see where there are any rough spots, any spots really sticking through. And then when you get rid of all the chunky spots with the Dremel, you want to go ahead and give your cup a nice sand for any spots that may be a little rough but not sticking out. And I'm using 220 grit for that. And I'm just wrapping it around my pointer finger making sure to get the bottom edge as well. Once I'm finished with that, before we put on any more epoxy resin, and we're going back in with 91% our isopropyl alcohol to really make sure we get all that dust and yuckies off. And I'm cleaning the inside of the cup as well. Then I'm taking tweezers and I'm using these white glittery letters. And I'm just gonna spell out her name, putting it right in the center of the white part. 
You can use decals from your Cricut. You can use stickers. You can use whatever you'd like. But make sure you put it on before you put on your final coat of epoxy resin. And then that's it, you guys. This is my finished pink lemonade cup. She loved it. Makes me so happy. <laughs> I think it turned out amazing. Makes me want some pink lemonade. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love the way the glitter shines in the light. So thank you guys for watching. I am so excited to be uploading more YouTube videos. Lots of resin projects coming. Also makeup, you guys. Um, just adding some new material to the mix. All right, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.